Thank you. A man in Jacksonville, Florida has been indicted for tampering with consumer products after he bought enemas at a local CVS, took them home, used them, put them back in the box, closed it, and returned them. Wow. Authorities say that all affected customers are believed to have been informed about their tainted purchases. Oh, they were tainted, all right. They were tainted hard. Rapper Nelly's tour bus was stopped at a Border Patrol checkpoint in Texas and cops found marijuana, 36 bags of heroin, and a gun. More shockingly, they found Nelly on a tour bus. I mean, seriously, I just called him Rapper Nelly because I didn't want you guys to be like, huh? Who? Do your thing, bro. Drop down and get your eagle on or whatever. A giant softball-sized eyeball washed up on the shore of South Florida on Wednesday, and nobody knows who it belongs to. Uh, I do. Ben Stein in the 90s? A new French restaurant in Sydney, Australia says that in light of complaints, they will be removing the two urinals that look like women's mouths. Complaints, really? From who? The guy who operates the glory hole? He wasn't getting enough attention? A man in Australia says he was kicked out of a bar because of this perfect mullet and bouncers told him they didn't want his type there. So what you're saying is that the people out front were too business for you, right? You should have gone around back. I hear it's a party. <laughs> Cameron Knox asked, if you were God and you could talk to everyone in their head for one minute, what would you say? Dicks, 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 dicks. Don Gadget Hackwrench Kramer says, my only question for you would be, may I take you out to dinner sometime? Perhaps, if your middle names weren't weapons. Nathan Cohen asked, which would you rather fight, one horse-sized duck or 30 duck-sized horses? So we've got either a plethora of, of, of small horses or one very large duck. Why do you guys always want me to fight animals? Um, one horse sized duck because it's still gonna be adorable and I'm gonna snuggle it to death. Enoch Lee asked, why were you in Australia? Did you like it down here? Ah, I loved it down there. I studied abroad for uh, a couple months and I worked an internship at Weber Shandwick in Sydney, PR firm. I met the two great loves of my life in Australia. One is my soulmate of a best friend, Inez, and the second one is Tam Tams. Inez literally sends me packages of these every now and then because when I lived in Australia, I was 160 pounds. Soak it in, people. 160. I used to eat double rows of Tim Tams in my apartment. It wasn't pretty, but those things are so good. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Nicholas Hawkins asks, how much do you love Bobby Valentine? About as much as you loved that one weird kid in your kindergarten class that you had to give a Valentine to because you had to give one to everybody. Mohammed Jardina asked, if you could choose anywhere in the world to live in, where would you want to live and why? Zach Galifianakis' beard, because it's full of warmth and funny, and probably food. James Almondjoy asked, F you thought I'd forget, favorite TV show, current or canceled? You gotta go genres on this. Um, or you don't, just pick one, Katie. Okay, The League, I guess. I love that fucking show. Patrick William Morgan asked, if you could take a body shot off of anyone, who would it be? Probably like Will Ferrell. <laughs> I just picture him having a cavernous belly button. Isn't that where you, don't you? That can't possibly be what it is. In my head, you literally suck a shot out of someone's belly button. But like, that can't be right. Oh here, drink from my loins through which my mother fed me whilst I was but a fetus. Gross. Randon Salyers, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? That's like an impossible question. Off the top of my head, I would choose teleportation because I'm fucking impatient, first of all. And second of all, I hate having to factor in travel time and like traffic time and ooh, get stop and get gas. It's like I wish I could just 
be there. Then I could get so much more shit done. Also, I think I just picked the one superpower that serves nobody but yourself. I'd like to think about Aruba and then be in Aruba. What? There are superpowers that can save lives? Fuck that shit. And that's gonna do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed yet today, I'll throw a link down in the description to a video that will make you do so. Full disclosure, it's gonna be more me. Because I made a video yesterday, and you gon' like it. Enjoy your Fridays and your Saturdays and your Sundays, and I'll see you right back here on Monday. Can't wait with more headlines that you need to know. Zach Torrance. Oh, Torrance. You can't stand your cheerleading squad. I love your pom-poms. I want to feed you bonbons all night. Wrong audience, right?